Hi, I'm Julie and welcome to Tiny Chick Pottery Studio. I wanted to talk to you today about glaze bubbles. Yes, they're so annoying. So you start putting glaze on. And if you see here, my glaze has bubble where I put the under glaze on. What happens is I try to paint a second coat of glaze on top of my under glaze and those same bubbles pop open again. So what is there to do about this so that it stops happening? Well, see how it's partially wet still? Wait, don't do anything about it until it's completely dry on that first layer. There's a way to speed up the drying too. I have one of these handy dandy heat tools that I got at the craft store. It's got some clay smudges on it. I will heat it up a little bit and make sure that's fully dry before I try and touch those bubbles. If it's still shiny, it's still wet, not ready. Where it's still dark, it's also still wet, so don't touch those spots. There's some little, there are little places where the a bubble popped and then it pulled away. So I just rub on top of that until those little bubbles are filled in with glaze dust. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, those holes there disappeared. So keep at it, keep moving around to the next spot. Okay, it appears I have them all filled in and the areas there that are wet don't have any dots in them. So I'm going to attempt to put another coat of glaze on it. This is a clear coat. I'm using Mako Stoneware Zinc-Free Clear. The store that I buy it from was out of Amico Zinc-Free Clear, so I bought Mako, and it's good. So those are compatible with what I'm doing. I'm going to attempt to cover this area now with clear and see if it bubbles again at those same spots. Okay, some more bubbling is happening, but not all of the bubbles, so we're going to do it again. It's basically a bubble popping, and then there's no glaze underneath. I had quite a bit of difficulty getting my words. The inside of this bowl says it was delicious. And when I wrote delicious, I think I spelled it wrong or something, and I had to rub out, rub the graphite off with an eraser. And when I painted the glaze over it, I think a lot of graphite was still there, and so I think the glaze is pulling away. The graphite will completely disappear when I fire this, but I'm not so certain that those holes over the word delicious are gonna fill in because it popped, they popped open again. Graphite is the same stuff that was sometimes used as a car lubricant, like in the door jam and stuff. You'd get it on, I used to get it on my clothes when I was a kid. Anyway, gra graphite is very greasy-like substance or is it, it's just a really fine particulates that make things glide and it's making the glaze glide away. So we'll try this again. Okay, be right back. I've given those areas a little extra tap tap with the bristles without giving any more glaze on top. I'm just tapping that spot to make sure glaze falls down those holes. Okay, we'll come back when this layer's dry. My friend Lisa sent me these amazing decals. As you can see, I've removed one here already, but these are water slide decals and they are awesome. If you take a piece of pottery like this with straight sides and you glaze it with white and then put clear glaze over top and fire it, then you apply a water slide decal to the outside and refire it. I think it only takes about four hours to refire it you get a glazed on decal that can be run through the dishwasher and treated just like the rest of your mugs. They're awesome and I'm so impressed with the quality. And so when Lisa's ready to sell these, I am going to give you her contact information so that you can send your custom art in and she can print it and send it back to you. But she's not ready yet, so I'm not gonna tell you anything. But for now, I'm so delighted that I was able to get some of these to test. 
cats. So I better get some white on here while I'm waiting for that clear to dry. About what you're doing I just started putting white underglaze on the inside of the smug well, I'm gonna even it up now and, and finish it but I didn't intend to do that <laughs> I don't know why I did that I'm thinking about something else I'm just gonna even it up so there's no hard edge between the white and something else just in case it shows through but I had no intention of glazing the inside white yeah, I think I want to do another color. It's not a problem. So with the underglaze, I do it just like I do regular glazes when I'm doing a full coverage. I just go in one direction all the way around. And then the next coat, I'm going to go in this direction. And then I just go every which way on the handles. Like I'll go up, up the handle. Make sure it's fully covered. This clay gets a little like pinkish color. If it shows through, you'll see a little bit of pink color. I don't even remember what kind of clay I'm using. I know it's a white stoneware cone six clay. I think it's B mix. I got it from Trinity in Dallas. And I'll order about 100 pounds of clay at a time to get the best pricing. And my husband picks it up for me and brings it home. And that is awesome. Still going around, still on coat one. Hang on a second, there's a chicken getting attacked. I thought a chicken was getting attacked, but it appears the dogs were just playing and None of the chickens are hurt. Why are you making that song like you laid an egg? One over here is doing the egg laying song. She dropped an egg out here, let's go see. Did you lay an egg or are you making up lies? Where is it? She has business to attend to. Hey, there's an egg, check it out. So I went around, so this coat, I'm going down. This is my second coat of underglaze. I tend to just write on my desktop what coat number I'm on so I don't forget because I tend to get distracted and think about 50 things. Well, I've got my second coat of underglaze dry, so now I'm just gonna do diagonals. That kind of helps you just cover every spot. Letting it dry between coats helps ensure that you're not just rubbing it back away from the place where you just painted it. Okay, three coats of underglaze are on it. I need to mark it here. Three white UG. Next, UG interior. If I don't take notes, I forget where I am. All the little bubbles are gone. Yay! Now I'm just gonna do my third coat of clear using the brush I had for the clear, and this one will head into the kiln. The third coat went on and there is no bubbling. Yay! what the other side of my studio looks like. That's where I'm doing glazing. And then here's my lighting situation. I use this to diffuse the light so that you don't get any really harsh shadows. And that paper towel roll is serving two functions. One, you can get paper towels off of it. And two, it's holding this onto here. <laughs> this is my glaze book. 
my decals and I bubble wrapped the windows to keep it warm in here. Both windows. And then this is my little messy sink. Lower down is my pottery wheel. There's the heater and some of my glaze collection. I'm not actually this tall. I'm, I'm sitting on the edge of the sink. I had to take a call. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like and a comment below. That would really help me. Thank you. So between rubbing out the bubbles and tapping the bubbles with a brush, we have solved our bubble problem in the glaze. And I hope firing goes well. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'll talk to you soon.